and the noise was starting to trickle out about Tom Brady thinking about retiring, I'm like, he should. He's accomplished everything. He's done everything. There's nothing to fall back on. What is there left to do? I've appeared in 10 Super Bowls. I've won seven. I've got kids to take care of. If you remember, people was like, oh, well, you know, his kids are just, uh, he can always hang. I'm like, no, man, you don't understand. When a dude really starts to talk about his family and where they're at, they move away from things. They got everything. It's like, why do I need to continue to play football? Because I can't. I want to live my life and enjoy my kids. I have kids. I have family. My wife wants to see me play. I understand the fans want to see him continue to keep playing, but his family wants him at home with them. I don't believe it. I'll never believe it. I, I have a hard time, and I'm a fan of Tom Brady's. I'm a, I was a fan of Michael Jordan. When Michael Jordan retired, I didn't believe it either, and there was, there was a part of me now, even watching the Hornets game the other night, where I'm like, damn, could Jordan come back and just play a couple of a couple of possessions? Like it just there are certain players, those two in particular, where you're always going to feel that regardless of whatever age they are, that they can come back and compete at the highest, most ultimate level. Jay, let me I'm gonna ask you something deeply personal right here on okay. the air on yeah, live yeah, radio. Yeah. Do you think that like when Brady says he's satisfied? But you see him, wait a minute, Tom, you just led the league in everything. You could have easily won the Super Bowl this year. Do you think part of that is because you had this, you know, famously now, had your career cut short very early on, and so always feel like, hold on, satisfied, and you can no. still do it? You got to be nuts to walk away when you can still do it. Well, no, I think you look at Tom Brady and Michael Jordan, those guys wrong. Like, I, I, and I hear what Tom is saying, about, but I don't think Tom Brady will ever be satisfied at anything he does in his life. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan will never be satisfied. Any, there's always going to be something else, and regardless of what they've been able to accomplish on the field or on the court, that's going to translate to something different in their life that they will take on that next thing. It's, um, but I, I will say this, because my wife is very much like this. There are some things in my house where I walk in, I'm like, my mind is set. This is what the hell I am doing. It's going down. It's a lock. I've told my friends. I've told people. And then I have conversations with my wife, Nikki Bonacorsi, and I leave that conversation saying, has so many valid points. <laughs> I got to start thinking about it that way. And I feel like Giselle and Tom have that relationship where if you heard when he talked about like saying, hey, this has been, I've, I've given up so much that she's had to do so much. Like I think you get to a certain point that it's like, what do I owe my family going back to what Kia said? And that his wife, who is the real boss of the house, let's, let's be honest about it. <laughs> they are the real bosses of the house can say, hey, it's time that we start looking at this a little bit differently. Now, Evan had an interesting take on this, our producer, Evan. Evan, I want you to tell Key and Jay your take on why, after Brady spent all this time saying, I want to play until I'm 45, clearly he can at a very high level, he walks away now. Yeah, I think he's known for a while that he was going to walk away, and I think he, he just didn't mention it. Like, he kept saying, I want to play till I'm 45. I want to, you know, uh, prob like it was in... in um inferred that he was going to play one more season. We didn't really hear anything until, like, leading into that final game that, hey, this could be it for Brady. You know, we heard from Rob Ninkovich, and then we heard Jeff Darlington and, and Adam Schefter report that this could be Brady's final game. And I think he's known for a while, but I just didn't think he wanted the attention. I think he made people believe he was going to play another season, even though deep down he knew when he went to Tampa, maybe two years max here. He won a Super Bowl in year one. There was nothing else for him to gain. He didn't want people knowing See, next year was his well, final year, and so he played this year as if it was his final year, and I think he's probably known for weeks, maybe months, absolutely. that this was his final season. That's in key. Absolutely. That's interesting. Evan, we all, when we retire, we all know what we want to do the year before or two years before we do it. I mean, I don't care if you played 22 years like Brady or you played 11 like me. When I got into my 10th year, I knew I was like, I'm not going to, I'm pretty much, I'm got one, maybe two, and I'm done. I don't want to keep doing this. You know, and you just don't tell people because it's none of their damn business. It's up to you to make the decision on what you think, even though you, a person says, well, I want to play till I'm 75 years old and I'm going to play as long as I can. In the back of your mind, you know, when you want to walk out that door. Everybody, Michael Jordan, you name it, they all know. He, I mean, Jay, I, I think Evan's point, though, is like, see how Rodgers is drawing all this attention to himself, yep. right? 
Brady got out of the victory tour, the victory lap. He, he set everyone up to think that there was going to be another season, so he wasn't feted all around the league, and now he slides out without the attention. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.